Welcome back. Shoutcasters Network presents Misspent Youth. And we are having a great time. If you have uh, just joined us, we are picking up as our teenagers uh, do their rebellion in this effed up religious future. And they've just had a food fight at the Saturday Night Potluck. uh, And they got away in a vehicle painted with phalluses. Uh, so they, are, they are on the run. Uh, they uh, have escaped custody for now. And when we open up, um, Oz is going to tell us uh, what's happening in this scene. He's going to choose one of our authority figures or one of our friendship questions. Uh, and then he's going to set the scene. So, Oz, what are we looking at? All right. So let me see here. Um, we've got. So this is supposed to be the who wins scene. And we're struggling for who wins this episode, right? Is my understanding? Uh, yes. This is going to be kind of the big deal to answer the question, uh, who wins? And you're going to either... Uh, it, it, whoever wins this one is either going to add a, a system of control or take one away or add a exploit or take one away. All right. Just think, if I win, I could I could take away your superpowers. Oh, yeah. oh, but if we win, we could take away the Tears of Unity. You could take away one of the systems of control that we have. And the systems oh, of control, for those who have just joined us, the uh, Unity of All uses mandatory church attendance, tithing, voluntary time or money, uh, confession, yours or others, and the pure ID retinal display. Ooh. By the way, you are now aware that your pure IDs are going down. Are they actually going down, or are they already as... Because I feel yeah, like... As close to fucking zero as possible, <laughs> really. What about you my can... my perfect score? Yeah, it's going down, because you what? were involved in the, the great food... The, the great... The great pot... The, uh, let's, we'll come up with a cool name for it. The great potluck food fight of, uh, of 2092, or whatever. All right. <laughs> also potluck. So, I think... Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to uh, so we're let's see I say I say that we are in the middle of we've been driving for a while uh, away from this town I'm going to I'm going to get it real man um, and we are it's we're it's been about a it's been about a day driving through the desert in this car where nobody nobody uh nobody spots it and we finally um drive that thing into a ditch and we've got um as we as we approach a town the next the next area and uh for now, it's nighttime, and we're going to be hanging out at a water tower Ooh, that just okay. kind of overlooks overlooks the town below. And um, and so, like, we're all we're all just kind of like hanging out at the top of this water tower, legs dangling, looking out, and uh, and strike. Um, Oh, I gotta, I gotta pick a thing to. So before, before we talk any further about this, mm-hmm. there was a question that we asked in scene two, and that's the question that gets answered in this scene. Mm-hmm. Do you guys remember what the question was? Whether we oh. find a cure or not. I don't or remember. Is that the that's one that we ended the episode <laughs> in? That's the one um, we ended. Yeah, right. yeah, what we ended the episode with, right? Do we find the cure for the plague? Right. Yeah. Okay. Yes. The uh, the needs. What the uh, authority wanted is to keep the plague uncured, um, because it helps them to uh, help them to scapegoat people and to keep people in line. And you want to know if you can use what you know or what your uh, or what's happened to your bodies to find a cure for the plague. All right. So then I'm gonna make the scene about the friendship question to Alice. That I had. Why should I believe you? Ooh. And um, strike uh, says if 
you know, all this, um, all this confessional shit. I haven't been able to really trust anybody in a long time. And, uh, <laughs> I like look at my ID, my, my peer ID is basically like point one <laughs> and strikes like, I'm not fucking dead. So what do I give a shit? I can say whatever the hell I want now, right? None of us have to give a shit. But I saw all those back kids fucking fucking peer ID under the same fucking threat of this happening, but they won't survive it. We did, somehow. We fucking survived it, but are you really so happy to leave those people resigned to that fate? When you could have the power to do something more? Do I have power to do something more? Because all we're Tech doing is running. And no, and by the way, I'm not happy about it. My parents used me, man. They used me. They, they, they would fucking they would fucking go through our rooms every day trying to find something they would come across my art they would fucking go to confessional and they would just keep tanking my id and before it was me before they came in and started taking started using me for that shit they tanked my sisters i lost two sisters to this shit to the tears of unity my parents and wanted to be so fucking perfect And they, you know, we fucking deserved, we fucking deserved every dip that we got on that stupid rating. And if we did anything against them, we'd be out, on, they would just make sure to tell, let us know that we'd be out on the fucking street. So we had to keep them nice and protected and cushy while they kept fucking us over. That's terrible. But if you had the opportunity to stop it, would you? Of course I would. And so what if? What if the cure that we have inside of all of us, because we survived this shit, stops it? Stops the whole fucking system. Burns it down to the ground because suddenly they don't have what it takes to keep us down anymore, to keep us in fear. Keep us going to those confessionals and ticking down each other's pure IDs. In the distance. What if? In the distance, two figures are approaching. Not in a car. It's late at night. You're by the water tower looking over the moon. And two figures are walking. So Belle, who's sort of facing away, hasn't noticed them, uh, says, you know, you've all been talking. I, I, I agree with everything you say. It makes a lot of sense. But there's one really important question that none of us have been raising. Like, I haven't heard raised, uh, and I'm just curious if you'd all thought about it. What's, what's so special about us? Why are we the cure? Why did we survive when everyone else dies? Is it God? I, I don't think so. If there's a God, I don't think he, it, whatever's involved in all of this garbage whatever it is it's in our fucking blood and I wish I wish for two seconds we could stop running and find something something so I can just I don't know work research find this cure we could systemically as, just tear it down as if on cue uh, you notice that these figures are actually now they're like jogging and uh, they seem to be coming not towards the water tower, but definitely towards your direction, uh, you know, in a, in a way that you're you're getting able to see them a little bit more clearly with each step they take. They're clearly um, moving quickly away from something. Give hide. Drake a nudge. See that yeah, shit over there? Uh, what? You should hide. Making cover behind the water tower, 
still peeking out and um, their faces are hard to see. Like there's no, there's no illumination, right? The moon is behind them. You don't see anybody pursuing them. Um, and they don't seem to be paying much attention to you or the water tower, but they are getting getting closer. And as they get closer, the the moon strikes them just right, and you can see uh, what looked like dark tears on their faces. Oh no! What if? What if they're part of part of no. wrath? They and they're bleeding. They're fucked. It's over. But it wasn't over for us. We didn't cry. We didn't have the bloody tears. So then, are they just well, die? I I kind of did, didn't I, I seem to remember, I mean, it was really hazy. It was hard. I thought I had all the symptoms, but I don't know. I mean, our eyes are all messed up. Isn't that why you put all the, that dark stuff around your face? To cover it up? So what are we going to do? Why? So what do you want to do? Just lug around people that are going to die? Can we help them? Can we cure them somehow? I don't know. Ask the, the fucking scientist. Can... You're yeah, 15, I'm there, sure you know plenty. As they approach the water tower, you can see that they're not interested in climbing it or stopping or looking at it. They're, they're, they look like they're moving on past it. Are you gonna interact with them or just let them go? What if... What if they need our help? What else you can we know, do? You know that without intervention, the tears of unity are a, a death sentence. What if they were abandoned just like I was? They have been abandoned. Their purity score has dropped uh, down and they've been injected with the, the virus, poisoned we, by the system. Then we need to help them. But how? Like They're not even We're on the run. You're smart. You know things. I can't turn something, nothing into something. I I need equipment. I need files. I need needles. I need filters. We'll find, I need the, we'll find the equipment. This is our chance, Alice. This is our chance to do something that's worthwhile. Alice, you you know the most about how this works. Then, uh, how much time do you think they have? We. Oui. The. Then we find a place, we take it over, we, we use it, just like we did with that community center. We I find a place you. where they've got the tools you need, and we do what we can to help these people. And, and if, if it turns out we have the cure, then we have something that we can use against them. And right there, I'm going to call for a struggle. <laughs> here's, what? What, here's what I want. I want you to try to help these people find a cure and I want you to fail and be demoralized and realize that there's not a dang thing that you can do, not even with these powers, to help save people from the plague. <laughs> Isn't that I'm awful? So, that's so awful. I hate, I hate you. I'm Damn, you. Ouch. Yeah. That's cold. I think we want uh. to find out that we can make a cure of some kind from our blood or whatever. Yeah, yeah. That, I think we that, need to make a longer reaching goal though, right? Like, it can't just be immediate to opposite to what well, his we goal would need is. To find, we would need to find equipment, right? Like you said. Yeah. Laboratory. We need to find, find a, a lab. laboratory. You're able yeah. to find a lab and, and, and do your biz. Okay. Who's going to stand up first? I don't believe in this, so. I'm going to stand up. We okay. need to do something. This is our chance to make a difference. And I know you're smart enough to do this. And I know that I can find a place for us to make this happen. Spin the wheel. Make the deal. <laughs> Easy there, Satan. I know, right? That was Thunderdome. Anyway, go ahead. I got, I got a five. Five. And oh, what, 
what conviction are you going to use? I am going to use pride. Okay. Yeah. So, like, knowing that, like, we, like, I know that we have the answer to this. I know that, like, between the four of us, we can fix this and we can make things right. And so I am climbing down off of this water tower and I'm going to go call, I'm going to call out to those, uh, those two people and <sighs> hopefully, um, that they'll be willing to, uh, help us find the cure. So yeah. So well, whether or not they're they're able to help you, they certainly uh, look like they need one. Yeah. And when you call out to them, they they are scared to death. They uh, it is a a twenty year old uh, uh, woman and um, and somebody maybe a brother. She has a brother who's sixteen, and they both have the tears going down. So. They are, they are afraid, no one's gonna help them, and they decided they would rather spend their last days together um, apart from this system than, uh, than just be an example for everyone. So, uh, so what, yeah, oh, gosh. But they don't believe you. They, they are scared, and, and they think that they, uh, they are going to be in trouble now that somebody has found them. They don't trust you, and, uh, and you don't seem to be able to convince them. So I'm going to claim. <gasps> what am I going to claim? Yeah, so she's like, wait, don't leave. We can help uh, you. Uh, I'm going to claim seven and nine. Oh, Lord. Yeah. yeah. Ha ha. Who's going to stand up now? I just want to note that uh, whoever becomes the stream boss can support the authority or the click or both give us a or, roll or or just yes so, thank you palmer for a donation click. we're we're so short we're so short 150 just cheer just cheer up some bits holy <laughs> shit this is getting too real please, please, please. <laughs> all right so who's standing up sorry i guess I, i'll stand up yeah roll the dice hi woohoo Five. Come on. No, he doesn't. That's awesome. You... <laughs> that roll? No, no, I was waiting for it to roll eight. Never mind. Oh, that was Cassie's roll that was nine. Oh, gotcha. I got an eight, which is still good. Not as good as rolling the same thing that Cassie did. But there we go. Um, so okay. I'm actually going to use my... I can use my sold out one, right? Yes. Or do I have to use the one that hasn't been sold out? Nope, you can right. use your sold out one. I'm going to appeal to the two people who don't seem as moved to help the scientist who, you know, might actually be able to figure this out and, you know, strike who's been able to get us from place to place who kind of seems to be the smartest of us. Maybe. I don't know. He, he, I'm, I'm going to appeal to both of these by using my cynicism. I'm like, Hey, these people sure they're going to die, but give us something to work towards here. We might be able to find something out, run some tests, even if we can't save them, we might be able to figure something out. It doesn't matter if we save them or not. It just matters that we try. But they're probably dead anyway, right? Uh, that seems to work on them. They they get where you're coming from. So they say, like, look, if we can... Um... I'm saying this to my fellow teenagers oh, still sorry, up in the ahead. water tower. Only, um... Uh, what's, what's your name? Um... Unity. Unity, yes. Mm. Only Unity has gone down to, to talk to them. Oh, okay, good. I'm trying to I'm trying to get my uh, other fellow teenagers to, to get in on this plan by appealing to their uh, sin, th their nature with my cynicism. <laughs> Something's up with and our I'll... stream boss, just so you know. Um, Vane has subscribed with a sub, so thank you. And that Yay, would Vic! technically make him the stream boss, right? Or am I... Did I mess this up? I don't know. I can't tell. We said it was 150 and then he subbed, so I don't know. Maybe it was maybe it was like the dollar donation plus I think that's what happened. The dollar donation plus the sub. So sorry to interrupt. Never mind. So we still need 150 more bit. Okay, all right. Yeah. Um 
So how are you all taking this? When when uh, when Bell is giving his uh, speech, how are you? How are you moved? Who me? Uh, it, well, he was talking to uh, Alice and to Strike. Okay, I didn't know if it was either or specifically. Um, I mean. Okay, so everybody's moved to action, and, uh, <laughs> and they, they all you all head down, and uh, I got to and, sorry to be honest, yeah. I got distracted with what was happening in chat. So, up. what was the yeah. what was the general gist of the of the of what happened? I'm so sorry. What was I, I made a very like? moving speech, right? <laughs> Using my Hi. cynicism to appeal to your darker nature. That yeah, these Not people these dark. people are gonna die. Yeah, so what? They're toast, but we might be able to get something from them anyway that might be able to help us. At least uh, moving forward towards right. a goal, if nothing else. But you know, we might be able to run some tests even. Gotcha. Uh, something like that. Essentially like profiting he, like, no matter, off of their cure? Yeah, like no matter what they no matter what ends up happening to them, we need to stop them and get them to experiment on. Yeah, you know, normally I would have been optimistic about like, hey, we can save these people, right? But my my experience by being beamed with the uh, in the head with the with the enchilada. casserole of enchiladas <laughs> that changed me. Turning point. <laughs> <laughs> That's his Batman dead parents moment. Is being beamed in the head with enchiladas. I was a boy. Now I have an enchilada. <laughs> uh, okay, so Palmer just got us a reroll. You are you are cynic up, and you all head down, um, and you manage to convince them that that they that you might be able to help them. So, where are you headed? Um, I'm good. Well, are we still struggling? Yeah. Okay. I'm just, um, I'm, just, I'm giving some time to like work this oh. out. Remember, his I goal is to, to fa- for us to fail to save them. Yeah. Right. Not only save them, but but realize that we can't stop it at all. Yeah. Well, I mean, the only reason why I ask is because I can struggle to see if my smarts will outwin and my knowledge of science. Yeah. No. I, I just want you to say. I just want you to tell me what you're doing. Oh. Uh, like what? So you've convinced them to like, you know, go with you and maybe see about curing them. I think we'll pilot the lab. Well, we need a lab, and we I also need so. a new car since we demolished the dickmobile. So tell me, tell me, how are you looking for a lab? Um. Well, I mean, people, right? the next day, right? You mm-hmm. what? You you hit the phone book or what? Um. Like <laughs> this is tricky. Oh, I uh, no, I. It. Punked. I punked one of the um, the Deacon's phones, right? Yeah. So I would be able to start doing searches on it to try to find nearby lab, like science laboratories or or research center. Um. Yeah. (laughs) Yes. Absolutely. So uh, you were able to find one of these labs, and um, guess what? It's Sunday, so the lab is closed. Empty. Yes. Sneaking right. into the lab, um, you start doing your tests, and you're talking to these to these people, and um, the 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 tears are getting to them, and they're getting weaker, and and they're just they're just not doing so well, uh, and it looks as if um, the 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 youngest one, the the son or the brother, he is he's getting homesick. And he just wants to talk to his mom one more time. And so he asks if he can borrow a phone. Oh. Are you claiming a number for that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to see what 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 would you what would you say to that? But yes, I'm going to claim a number and he wants to um, he wants to call and, and if he calls, that might reveal your location. So I'm going to claim. Um, what am I going to claim? I just work from the bottom to the top. So the two, two I think. Because you already have one on the nine. Oh yeah, I see that. Okay, yeah. So two. 
Okay. All right. Um, I guess I'll stand up in the sense, uh, right? Because that, sure. that would be okay. All right. I'm gonna <sighs> use my uh, smarts, and I'm gonna palm my phone so that they can't see that I have a cell phone on me. Like, just kind of shift it away to an unknown hidden location as I start to do my test and say, look, we need to keep this on the down low. If we get you guys cured, you can call your mom. Like, this, we're, we're, we're gonna get you cured. It's gonna be fine. Like, just gotta give me time to work. If you call, they'll know we're here and I won't be able to fix this. I won't be able to get you guys better. If we, if we can't get you guys better then I don't I don't know what to say but at the end of the day if you call and if I fail it leads to the same thing we don't get heard okay they're willing to trust you um, and days go by and they are getting sicker and sicker and uh, the time <sighs> finally comes to test out test out this thing and then something happens uh oh <laughs> They say, I told you, you hear them like having a conversation between themselves. I told you this wasn't going to work. I told you they were just setting us up. I told you they would let us die. And she replies, no, no, no. They said that if we, if we trick them and we lead them to them, then they would, they would, um, they would restore our, our, our score and our pure ID would go back up. And you, oh. you realize that these people were infected with the sole purpose of luring you out for this very thing. Oh my. Fuck. And so I'm going to claim my number 12 as you realize this is, is trap. this going to work? Is this a trap? And uh, I'm saying it is a trap. If you cure them, you now have to deal with healthy adversaries and people might be on their way to get you right now. Oh no. Uh, Who's going to stand up? I'll stand up. Man, you guys are all demoralized. Like, I don't even know. <laughs> uh, okay. Oz, roll the dice, man. Six. Nobody wants to be responsible for pulling the last <laughs> one to make the Jenga tower fall. Right. <laughs> Look, everybody here, but Oz is sold out. Look at that board, man. Right? It's spicy. <laughs> Oz, um, what, what, uh, what are you going to use? I'm going to use my... Uh, I'm going to use bad. Okay. And um, <clears throat> I'm just going to... I'm going to walk in. I'm going to confront him. I'm going to oh say, boy. you fucking pieces of shit. The authority, the unity of all isn't going to help you. They don't have a fucking cure. At the very least, we are trying. You give your faith to these fucking people like they're going to help you. They don't care about you. You're not pure. You're they are. Shit we to, are. You're they do. shit to them. You are shit to them, and you will always be shit. And now you've compromised all of us. But you are sinners. You deserve this. Oh. Oh, and you don't. Look at your pure IDs. Look you're at all, yours. You're all... How did you the... get such a low pure ID, little Miss Perfect? This was a sacrifice made on behalf of the greater good. So what, you were a fucking plant this whole time? Or are you actually infected? And, and they say, can't you see? We are infected, but we don't deserve it like you. And then uh, she's going to lash out. She's going to she's gonna attempt to strike you. Now, of course, she's, she's pretty weak, but um, she's going to she's gonna grab a scalpel and she's going to come after you. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to claim the 11. No. <sighs> the three, yeah. The three? Yeah, and she uh she takes a couple swings at you and, and manages to cut 
to cut your arm. And uh, ah. and her her brother at this time is now is now he's not sure what to do because he's torn between between dying and and being betrayed by the unity of all and then watching his sister get into a you know lethal fight. So so he he sort of tries to get in the way, but but he's so sick that he just falls on the floor and and meanwhile she's still trying to cut you. Who's gonna stand up? Um, I'll stand up. The rest up. of you hear this sort of commotion from... Oh my from, gosh. What was that? Stand up. Katie, okay, you're standing up? Okay, roll the dice. All roll right. the dice in a way that makes me win. <sighs> no, don't listen to him. Roll the other one. Oh, man. <laughs> just, just... Channeling it. Yeah! Five. Suck Take it! That Take that re-roll! Yeah, she blo oh, blocked shit. it. He had a block. It's okay. It's okay. You can do this again. No, you can't. You're gonna suck. Shun the non-believer. Shun! Yes, yeah, six. <laughs> yeah. the six. It was uh, Oz <laughs> with his bad. Yes. So <sighs> you win. So that means that you have to use bad in some way. Oh, I've about it, had it. I've been so working. So tell me how you use bad. To not only stop them from demoralizing you, but to actually figure out that you can cure the plague. Well, you understand, I've been working tirelessly, minimal sleep. The bags are starting to show through the fucking red on underneath my eyes. I am losing sleep, I am not eating, I am working so fucking hard to cure these assholes now starting a fight outside the lab room. That I say fuck it. Tried and failed, tried and failed, tried and failed. I, I start to feel like this is it. This is what I have in my syringe. This is it. But hearing the fight, I've had enough of it. I come bursting out. I backhand her, regardless of my own fucking safety. And I take the syringe and just jam it right into her throat. Don't give a damn about her comfort. And just plunge the whole thing, hoping it works. I didn't even get a chance to fully test this batch, but I've got a feeling this might be the one. He convulses oh, and fuck. and vomits. Um, Ugh, gross! But what did you do to him? And and her brother is just screaming, and and he starts to to lunge at you, uh, and and starts to just beat on you with these frail hands. I mean, like it's, yeah. he's hitting you, but he's not hurting you, and it's it's sad I'll, and pathetic. And and I like and grab him into like a, a hug and be like, "It's okay, Every, it's okay, everything's gonna be fine." We're, we're finding the cure. I know it. She's, yeah. She can do it. And um, and she falls down. Her pulse stops, and she she dies right in front of you. And then five minutes later, she gets back up, and and you aren't exactly sure how. <laughs> But this sort of wave of energy sweeps over you and knocks you all back into the counters, um, and then she and then she collapses again. But the tears start to dry, and she's no longer uh, stained with the tears of unity. Her eyes are still red, though. But but she is alive. Did that happen with us? I I, I was delirious. I think so. I don't remember. Uh, and her brother uh, is obviously uh, over in the corner. He was more affected than the rest of you by being flung backwards, and it looks like he may not make it. And we're going to end this scene there. So. Ooh. Ooh. That was intense, you guys. Nice. <laughs> no fucking shit. <laughs> 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 Bring in the drama. <laughs> oh, uh, man. Switching from food fight to this scene was really, was really quite a, a roller coaster. Pink mohawk to fucking black trench coat. There's just no in between. There's no happy middle. <laughs> uh, and so this next scene, uh, our final scene of tonight, 
uh, is going to be chosen by was it Katie or Katie? Katie. Okay. Katie. Oh boy. So you take a look, and we've got one authority figure, Pastor Robinson, or we've got uh, a player question uh, from Bell to Cassie. Why did you step up to comfort me? I think Pastor Robinson's going to have to be it for the authority figure for the scene, kind of like end boss, I almost feel. This is supposed <laughs> to be, just so you know, this is the dust settle scene where it's a moment of reflection and setup of the next episode. Oh. oh so maybe it is. So if if we were to have the pastor, maybe he could actually be trustworthy. Maybe. But that's up to you. Yeah. Um. You know, I'm still, I'm still going to go with the... the sorry. Uh, so how does this scene begin? The scene begins uh, with us, um, well, curing the brother this time, obviously. A few days have passed. Um, monitoring them in this lab, which has somehow stayed closed down for us. Um, I think Strike has probably put out on the uh, lab, you know, hazmat signs, and has managed to keep the normal scientists away on this. Um, but after monitoring the 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 brothers for a while like they seem stable and they seem to have like a small manifestation of of power nothing to what happened for us but still something there um nothing quite definitive yet but it's kind of almost our same situation um a few days pass and i believe that we are on our way i i have more cure made and i strike out and say we need to fucking hit one of the hospitals we need to make this cure known we need to make this cure seen we need to show the people that this is not a fucking god's will on us this is just a disease that you control us uh justin who was the brother um says well well could we just put it in the water tower would that work maybe if we gave it to people before they were exposed, maybe that would inoculate them. Do we have enough? Barely. It would, it would, a lot require, for that. It would require a lot more of your blood, but you probably could make a, quite a bit, depending on how much time you wanted to devote to it. I mean, it would be the thing to do, but I don't know what the effect is on people that aren't affected by Tears of Unity. What if we just, what if we just infect them? Like, like, this, this cured it, but I, I don't know if it would inoculate. <clears throat> Nobody's been infected before, right? Like, just, like, person to person. It doesn't no, happen it's, that way. It's, with it's, the exception of Unity, who we don't know how she got infected. Or was it or was it, uh... Alice, I think. Maybe. It was Alice. Alice, yeah, it was Alice. Alice got infected somehow that she wasn't supposed to. Yep. So um, who knows? Well, I mean... Uh, I would require a lot more blood and a bit more time to make the inoculate, but I we could test the town. But this is a small town. Maybe, maybe who knows? We need to get the trust of the people, and for that, I think we need to get the word out and uh, cure cure a bunch of people. Right? We we were able to save you two. What if we save a whole lot more? Then we have a lot more people to watch our back. Help us make the cure, help us get it out there. Not just to this water tower, but wherever else it needs to go. We need can a save the world. To, need a larger <sighs> pool to draw from for to make enough inoculate to save everybody. Just six of us won't do. Do you think each new person becomes a new inoculation source? Wait. <clears throat> I so I what if the the two people he and like the, the ones we've cured they were sent by somebody. Maybe they were sent by somebody who knows the others like us. Maybe we can find them and you, and convince them to help. Were you put in quarantine? Looking at um, at Justin and, and his sister? No, we were uh, injected and then pointed in your direction. Who sent you after us? Where, where were you injected, though? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, the pastor came, um, Pastor Robinson, and he came and, and told us that this is what God wanted for us, uh, 
a small sacrifice, but that would re be rewarded either here if we survived or in heaven. Uh, and all we needed to do was to run past the water tower. I mean, somebody knew where we were. Maybe it's somebody yeah. who has those powers, like like you do. I'm looking at Alice and, and Belle. But then that means that they know exactly where we were. Do they know where we are right now? Uh, probably. I mean, Pastor Robinson spoke like he knew exactly who you were and where you were. Quick, flip and off Pastor, every angle you can. Pastor Robinson is, is, is you know, what the bishop over the area, so obviously everyone trusts him. Fuck. You know, like our local pastor, you know, he was the one who recommended us that we go with Pastor Robinson. We should find Pastor Robinson. But then again, he's also the one that infected us, so I don't know that I can trust him anymore. I don't know anything about my life. And then, like, you know, Justin no. just starts crying. No, like, we like, need to do what Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> I no, the we need to the do. rest of us. We don't need to uh, ask him shit. Look, like, we don't his need sister, to ask him shit. Uh, da Vincia is her name. Uh, she decides that it's... It, she's been thinking about leaving, like, and just trying to go back home and 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 turn herself in. Um, she She's thankful to you all, and she knows now that you're not evil, but she doesn't want to stay. At least she's going with the idea of leaving. Should let her go, then. And did what we came to do with that. Well, we, we found the cure and we figured we, it out. We helped her. Authority yeah. wasn't going to help. The unity wasn't. Unity of all wasn't going to help her. No, they weren't going to help you. You know that. They were. They let you. They they let you run off to die, so that they could find us, do whatever they wanted with us, and they were just well, going to discard still, you. I'm still willing to believe that they believed that a sacrifice was necessary. Um, and I don't think you're bad people. I think they were mistaken. Uh, and, and, and as we are perfect examples of people's pure ID can go up and down and, and maybe that's not because they're bad people, and, but, but, but I also love my family and my family loves me and, and that hasn't changed. They deserve to know that I, that I was faithful, uh, and that my, and my brother and I are alive. And, and I don't want to live my life apart from the church. I mean, the unity of all is, is the unity in my heart. And I can't give but, that up. But after everything they just did to you, they were going to leave you for dead. That was this just whole, But this whole disease that they tell you you're going to be infected with when, when you misbehave, I just proved it's a fucking lie. Well, right. But just because one person who is innocent goes to jail doesn't mean that jail is wrong. It just means that there was a mistake. It's wrong when the type of jail that they use is death. Well, they injected I mean, you on purpose, which means that they don't that, that it's not related to pure ID. They are literally harnessing it and blackmailing you with it. Well, there's been martyrs throughout history that knew that sacrifice for their greater good was necessary. True, We're just but in that tradition. You no, know, you, you've got to understand that this isn't just one person acting wrongly this is the whole the whole system has been put in place to to make sure that the human uh i look over to alice uh, can you take over from here this is where i start saying the things that make people stop listening to me honestly <laughs> let them go they don't want to fucking hear it they've made their minds well, she doesn't want to hear it what about justin and struggle i'm gonna say that <sighs> Da Vinci wants to take Justin and return back home uh, and that and Justin goes with her uh, and, and goes back to a, a life of being a drone or maybe even worse, maybe a life of being experimented on and used as the Lord's wrath when they find out they have powers. What do you guys want to happen? Um, well, I want to stay with us and take us to Pastor Robinson who will uh, then help help us yeah. spread the I'll, cure. I want to get uh, in, I, I mainly just want to get in his house. 
I'm gonna rifle through his shit and find stuff. I don't want to ask him directly. I want to. Yeah. Keep in mind that Pastor about... Robinson is the bad guy, right? right. So yeah. Uh... How about find Pastor Robinson and convince him to change the ways? Well, Pastor Robinson isn't, isn't here. How about what we want to have happen is to convince one or more of these people that we've cured to help us get to Pastor Robinson or his his stuff. You know, use them as bait, so to speak. Or have them guide us to where we need to go. That would work. That sets up next episode, which, which can be, you know, going after Ro- Robinson. I don't know. Just one yeah. thought. Okay, so who's gonna stand up? She grabs. She grabs. Davincia grabs Justin by the hand and uh, pulls him up, and he's he's hesitating, but he's not offering resistance. Who's standing up? Me. All right, me. Roll the dice. Me. Thanks. All right. Hey. I'm uh, gonna use trusted as somebody that was the poster child for pure ID. I mean, I'm now the poster child for the cure. I am now the poster child for the whole reason why you should trust her. Like, she turns to them as just like, look, I was you once. I was there, wanting the perfect pure ID, wanting to maintain everything perfectly, but look where it got me. I got infected same as you. The church doesn't care about you. The church doesn't care at all. We need to make sure this doesn't happen to anybody ever again. At least take us to the place where they inoc- where they infected you. Maybe we can find a source there and and contaminate it with the cure instead. Okay. She um she agrees. She will uh She'll take you to the place where she met Pastor Robinson. She doesn't know where his house is. He he's he's a regional bishop, not a um, not a local pastor. So she can take you to the place where he met with her, and um, and she can give you a way to contact him once you get there. So you head out uh, towards um, the middle of town, and um, it's pretty it's pretty scary for you guys because. Being out in public means that it's a pretty high chance that you're going to be seen. Um, nevertheless, uh, Davincia knows her way around town, um, knows the people, but she also is now staying sort of under the radar, very aware that she has the red eyes as well now, and so she's not willing to just come out and, and reveal herself to everybody without proper explanation, which, to your point, is kind of making her realize how difficult her life is going to be moving forward. But she does take you to um, to the uh, in, in every in every town there is a, uh, a sort of house where the bishop can stay whenever he comes to visit. So she takes you to, I mean, like it's not his house, but it's like the house that the bishop stays in, um, and says if you set up shop here. The bishop will eventually return. It might be months from now, but uh, he will swing by. Um, as far as how to contact him, if you use the phone that's here, this phone connects with all of the rest of his phones. This is about all I can do for you. Uh, and then there's a knock on the door. Uh, and it seems like some deacons are outside, having seen some people enter the bishop's house. And uh, these bishops are going to want to have discussions with you all red-eyed individuals. And I'm going to claim... Seven and two. Oh, man. Beta Cav, I don't know what Dogs in the Vineyard is, but I'm sure that you're right. <laughs> gonna step up. Who's going to step gonna... up? You guys have step up paralysis this game. Oh, my oh, God. Come on. Uh... Don't. We've got to re-roll, it's fine. The the game of passive rebellion in a mildly bad... (laughs) Six. (laughs) Six. Nice. All right. What what conviction are you going to use? I'm going to go with sneaky, and I'm going to sort of hold up my finger to my lips, like, as if to say shh, and 
have us all kind of move toward the back and I'll be able to essentially uh, I've been able to get mess around with this place a little bit it's got a little bit of a state-of-the-art security system and uh, I was able to circumvent it so it's not going to be transmitting anything out about us but I c it can also have us view uh, depending where we are in the area there's different screens we can look and see uh, what's going on at the different doors so that'll help us escape okay so you've got uh, you've got eyes on everywhere and and you've been pretty quiet um, if you just lay low for a little bit they'll you know no one was there they'll move along right yeah da Vinci has other plans though she has has stuck her neck out just about as far as she's willing to and she's not the the the, uh, the sneaky type she's not the deceiving type so Da Vinci says, "Oh, it's it's Danny, Justin. It's Danny outside. We know Danny. I mean, we, you know, he 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 used to come to our uh, to watch us play, you know, uh, uh, church ball when we were young. Uh, church, so, ball. <laughs> church ball. So, uh, oh, we're just you know, this, is, this is the time. You know, I mean, like I won't give you guys up, but um, but but me and me and Justin, uh, you know, are gonna are gonna let them in." Uh, and she makes a move towards the door. Justin now is like, uh, Da Vinci, I don't think I don't think I want to. And her hand grabs the door. To I'm look. I'm gonna stand up. I'm gonna stand yes, up. Yes, you are. Do it. Roll the dice. Fail. <laughs> uh, Opti's gonna claim his number. Thank you. Uh, yes, I do have to claim my number. Uh, I'm gonna claim uh, twelve now. I'm gonna come up with the rules for church ball later. <sighs> <laughs> I, I got a five. I am going to actually Smashing use my. Ones. I'm going to use my helpless. <laughs> <laughs> and okay, so I see her going for the door. She's got her hands like so close. It's like, wait, Savinia, you don't understand. Once you have, once you have. Once you've been sick, they don't care about you anymore. My parents, they abandoned me as soon as I was sick. They're gonna abandon you too. Nobody cares about you once you have it. Nobody cares about you except for us. We care about you. Please don't open that door. Da Vinci looks at you with such disgust in her face. Oh! <laughs> Sad pathetic creature what what a disgusting life you must have <laughs> yourself this way you this is what sin does to you obviously uh i'm not gonna turn you in but but i need you guys to get out of my sight why don't you just walk up <laughs> and and i will i will lead them away like and she just has this awful disgusted look on her face at how pathetic you just seemed right there <laughs> um, you guys all head upstairs, and and again, Justin is is sort of caught. Like he doesn't. I mean, he was not terribly impressed with what you just did either. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it means to be on they, the run. He's they don't sure believe it. Him. They don't believe it, but they will. That sucks for them. Um, but he 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 now finds himself halfway up the stairs. You know, when when Da Vinci opens the door, and and. Deacon Danny says, "Da Vinci, what are you, what are you doing? Here? What's, what's wrong with your eyes?" And she begins to tell him about Pastor Robinson and and how she he was she was sent on this mission and uh, Pastor Robinson said to return here once she was finished and wait for his return. And Danny was like, "He, this is just blowing his mind." And so he's. He's known Da Vinci for his whole life, and he's inclined to believe her. But he does notice, unfortunately, that her pure ID is in the garbage. And now he is he is having a crisis of faith, and he is not trusting her. And he glances around, sees Justin, and is like, Justin? You too? And his pure ID is, is, is way down. And so... He says, I don't know what's going on here. I think I'm going to have to look around the house. Who's going to stand up? I'll stand up. You claim the right. 11, right? Uh, yes. Claim the 11. All right. 
Here we go. Five. Um, yeah. The struggle plus. Uh, you, you got no. You got no blacks. I got nothing. I got nothing. All right. So. Uh, oh, but it's, it's not a blood. good one, though. Oh, wait, what was the <laughs> oh, you used the pathetic one. Is that is that the uh, for the? That's uh, the helpless. That's the helpless. The helpless yeah. the <laughs> You're gonna have He's to patheticize yourself too. <laughs> oh, shit. How are you from society uh, and, and your own helplessness is collapsing in on you. How are you going to use that to get out of this? Strike. Uh, Strike just like shows up in the. He, he descends the stairs, right? And you hear like. Danny can hear his every step down the stairs and he like appears in the threshold of this of this staircase another another individual with the with the tears he said and strike has his hands up and says we don't want to hurt anybody we just want to help everybody but nobody wants help we're trying we help them and we can we can fix this but nobody wants to be helped and I don't know what to do but please don't be part of the problem let us show you <laughs> uh, Deacon Danny <laughs> no, he's 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 kind of a good dude. He's kind of a good guy. He wants he wants the right thing, and and even though your pure ID is so low, you can tell he's one of the people that that doesn't judge just by the pure ID. He's somebody that judges because sometimes he just wants to do the right thing. And you guys are just the most pathetic people he has ever. Seen. <laughs> and, Clearly, you need the most help. <laughs> Davincia is, she doesn't understand why you came down. She doesn't understand why you're doing this. She doesn't understand a lot of any of this. <laughs> Danny now says... Sounds uh, like she needs another needle to the fucking neck. Davincia, if what you're saying <laughs> is true, uh, I will, I will give you, uh, you know, I'll give you time. Um, and if Pastor Robinson is going to contact you, I'm going to need verification on this. But, but I am willing to wait and and watch over you in this, uh, in his house until that happens. So I'll make sure that people stay out, uh, and you and your really weird, pathetic friends uh, <laughs> stay here. Um, but Davincia, if you're lying, um, I'm afraid that there's nothing that's going to stop uh, the consequences of what you've done here. And uh, and you win, you uh, you are in Pastor Robinson's house, being able to live. You are on the lamb though, uh, and you have Deacon Danny, who is your Ursat's protector. Um, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to kill later. The the scene <sighs> ends. I'll light him on fire. Fades to black, and somewhere in another place. Um, we see a sort of silhouette uh, of somebody who is putting on his collar like this, making sure it's just perfect. He is rubbing some wax and making his eyebrows just so. He's doing his hair perfect. He puts Curling his, his mustache. Buckles his belt. Uh, <laughs> puts his um, puts his cross uh, into his holster. Uh, and finishes the makeup around his eyes, and then uh, it kind of zooms. In. It zooms out to uh, a little badge that says Pastor Robinson, and he says, <clears throat> "Time to do the Lord's work," and steps out of his house. Oh, and then we'll, end, we'll end there. Um, so <laughs> here's, here's the um, here's the cool part that you get to do as a result of winning the struggle in scene six. Uh, you all get to decide if you want to eliminate a system of control or if you want to add an exploit. Um, based on the events of the uh, uh, of the session, I would suggest adding the exploit of a cure. cure. For 
Yeah, yeah that's the yeah. beam that we're headed towards. Um, but if you guys wanted to, to examine doing something different, I'd hear that too. No, I mean, that's the one that makes no, sense. No, I think that's the one that makes sense, yeah. Totally. Yep. Hey, I Even Palmer I can, agrees. You can sure. Yep. Perfect. Yes. All right, so we, we have a, a cure for the plague. We're not exactly sure if it is a cure or if, if, if it's just... Mark. Right, we, uh... Or, Look, you're fighting a 15-year-old with experiment with genetics. It is what it is. <laughs> so, and again, you're not exactly sure how much of it was was you and how much of it was the blood. Uh, you're not exactly sure if it can act as an inoculating uh, agent or just cure people who are in a particular stage of it. So, a lot of, a lot of unanswered questions. But yet, there is hope that you were able to do it at least twice. And that is better than it was before. You guys have done something that, to your knowledge, has not been able to be done before. And you might have to now take that knowledge and do something about all those different systems of control that prevent you from exploiting this in the future. Ooh. And that is where we will end tonight with our next session. Uh, we will explore <laughs> where you guys take this, uh, how Pastor Robinson may fit into the larger equation and uh, continue to interact with the uh, misspent youth in our in our stream. Uh, and uh, it seems like we're going somewhere good with this, guys. Yeah. I'm loving this game. <laughs> it's so fun. Oh. The food <laughs> fight still. Time. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, many awesome, so many awesome good moments in this. Uh, oh. Yeah, I, I, can't, I can't say enough how much I really enjoyed the... Um, uh, the, the, the tension between the food fight scene and the next <laughs> scene. Like, that was just, that was such a... Wow. Such a, a, a dynamic okay. shift. Yeah. yeah. And, and guys, and it really, it really did demoralize you guys. Like, you hit the next... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just like, it was like... What the fuck do we do now? Yeah. Decision paralysis. I mean... Like that's like when the when the you know you realize like that you're just a kid, man. You're a kid up against all this stuff. Like, how are you even gonna like? How are you making me make the adult decisions? I know. Right? I know. Oh my god, no. But Davincia though, at the end, her argument. I'm like, how do I counter this stupidity? I don't know what to say. <laughs> Needle to the fucking neck. That's what it was. <laughs> oh my gosh. Same as her previous fucking argument with the scalpel. You know what? Just needle to the neck. Done. Yeah. You know what? When we were when we were like, who's gonna stand up? And we weren't doing anything. It's kind of because we're like, what do we do? What yeah. Do like, how do well, we? How do we do? But yeah, no, we just have to. <laughs> you know? yeah, we just have to be impulsive. Yeah. So that's the thing. Like, um, you when when we're playing this for next time, you can't think. You just need to say, I hate what's going on, so I'm gonna do something about it and then you roll the dice and then you figure it out right cool you, yeah you can't wait until you until you know what to do because that's not what teenagers do repulsive teenagers just act i should have teenagers... just burned down the community center dumb <laughs> and idealistic <laughs> and worthless no they're not teenagers are awesome but still a little yeah involved. um so yeah good 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 so nice. it makes sense how do i how do you yeah. teen? This is how you it's teenage been a, with been a while style. Thank you, bud. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm pretty sure all of us have like just this mental block of our teenage blunder years. Anyways, we're just like, I don't know. Uh, I, yeah. I'm gonna have to start channeling my. <laughs> yeah, I I have a teenager in the house right now, and so I feel like I need to go over and just be like, I need to channel you, Tommy. Like, come on, let's <laughs> give, give me some stuff to work with. <laughs> give me your opinions. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, um, I say, before we sign off, first, thank you to everybody who was helping uh, the authority and the click. We yeah. Just raise the tension by, like, oh that gosh. much more. So yeah, hope especially to help the authority. Good for you. Blue three <laughs> fucking rerolls. That was just bad luck, Cliff. Holy crap, man. I, I feel so bad for you. <laughs> it was meant to be. It. it was a cool sellout moment anyway. So. Yeah, it yeah, was. Yeah. That was worth the sellout. Lutely. Optimism <laughs> going down the tubes because somebody beamed me at the casserole full of enchiladas. <laughs> Man, <took>. fuck society. <laughs> yeah. Fuck your casserole. Uh, that was what I gave up on humanity. <laughs> oh, just and so everybody knows, we had 
We had seven scenes so far that we've done, and three of those scenes have involved a sellout. So yeah. we are on good tack to see somebody <laughs> completely sell out uh, by the time this is all said and done. Yes, yeah. so make sure to check us out. Uh, if you liked this show and you want to see it again, uh, we're gonna st- we're gonna start the next episode and do a full set of seven scenes. That is the goal um, in two weeks. So that is gonna be Monday, October first. Um, so yeah, definitely stop by. And if you need to see the previous videos, those are up on YouTube. And then these are also going up on YouTube very soon. Mm-hmm. So you'll be able to catch up uh, in time for two weeks. In addition, we have a lot of really cool stuff coming up on the stream. So I'm going to go in order of like, this is coming up. So number one is once upon a tabletop, we're going to be playing King of Tokyo. We're going to be role playing the board game, King of Tokyo. So we're going to play big giant monsters going rah, rah, rah. It's going to be, it's going to be interesting. (laughs) I'm excited because my brother's going to be in that one. Yes. Really yes. And speaking of your brother John, why don't you go ahead and talk about your project, Cassie? Oh my that's gosh. Really this so, Saturday. so I've got a couple of them. Before we get to the Saturday, this Wednesday we're doing Pathfinder playtest um, over on uh, original underscore box underscore set over on Twitch. Go over there. We're gonna be having really fun. I'm running that game, and it's gonna be absolutely insane. Wave after wave of undead. You gotta be there to see it. But, however, on the Saturday, oh, I'm so excited because we, my husband and I have been working on this world for I don't even know how long, like a decade, a decade of work has gone into this. And we are um, premiering the Shattered Isles this Saturday, 5 p.m. Eastern on the Shadowcasters Network. My brother John and Paige from Join the Anarchy are going to be our shipmates on the Amber Falls and you gotta be there to see it. It's gonna be fantastic. Yeah. So that's Saturday, 5 p.m. Premiere episode. Yes! And then, uh, Cliff, why don't you talk about um, your upcoming project? It's a little bit further out, but uh, Sunday, October 7th at... um, I'm getting time zones mixed up here. Yes, 3 p.m. 3 to 6 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we're starting with the very first episode on Twitch of Stellar Drift, which is a Starfinder live actual play. And that's going to be every other uh, Sunday after that. Yeah. And basically for like up until the end of this year, we're going to like once Starfinder's in there, we're going to be having three straight days of pen and paper RPGs. It's going to be Pathfinder on Saturday, Starfinder Sunday, Join the Anarchy, Shadowrun Anarchy. That's my show that I always do. Uh, that's um, Monday. So speaking of Join the Anarchy, make sure you watch that. If you want to come back next Monday, we are still streaming stuff. We're just streaming Join the Anarchy, which is our improvised Shadowrun Anarchy tabletop RPG. So definitely come and check that out. That's the one that I GM, and they'll be back following Monday with Miss Menu. Word. Anybody else want something to plug? Plug your regular stuff. Gosh, man. Yeah, I want everybody to listen to the Neo Anarchist podcast, which, uh, while is not about misspent youth, it is about Shadowrun and it is about rebellion against a messed up future. Um, yeah. And then also, we have a um, Cliff and I have wrapped up the first couple of arcs of our Shadowrun actual play set in the golden age of Shadowrun 2050s. Uh, I've sent that stuff over. I'm editing it as we speak. Well, not as we speak, but today. <laughs> uh, so that should be hitting the uh, airwaves soon. So keep a lookout for that. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, yeah. Awesome. And so tomorrow, um, I, I'm going to, I don't know exactly what time. I'm actually going to hook up my external hard drive and get um, finally the next episode of the Shadowrun podcast that we're doing for original box set tomorrow uh, I've finally been able to keep up with it and so every two weeks from tomorrow onwards you're going to get a new episode of the original box set Shadowrun podcast Mm -hmm. oh also in new podcast releases uh, I've started releasing Legends of Earthdawn a whole new season whole new series basically Uh, many of the characters will be familiar to you if you listen to the first one 
Uh, but we're starting out with just calling it episode one and moving on from there. We've got Opti playing as Scratch the Orc Troubadour in that. Uh, lots of fun. <laughs> Sing an awful lot, so make sure you come. Yeah, we've we're released, all doing uh, a lot of things. Man. Two two episodes already. Uh, um, every last couple of weeks, uh, one every week, and that's uh, going to be a weekly release now, going forward. Yeah! Oh my god, I'm so I'm not going to lie, that's so yeah. cool. And and uh, not to leave Katie out, I know she's. I know you don't really have anything to plug, but feel free to just do a little sign off. Kate, Katie's okay. good at real life, and so she's good, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm. I'm no, 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 no. no. no I'm, just, I'm just gonna disappear, and then that's gonna be in the stream. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's well, fine. we love you, Katie. You're I awesome. You. you are awesome. Just, All right. just think of it. Think of this as Katie begins. Like this is your. <laughs> I don't know why I let you guys drag me into this shit. <laughs> Here, right? You're, you're in on the ground floor of Katie's career. I'm literally on the ground floor. Hey, you know what? You know what? Uh, Katie actually did a voice for me uh, on the recent series of podcasts I've been doing. It's um, uh, actually a uh, what do you call it? It's a an audio drama, and um, and Katie gave the voice to some of the one of the characters in the audio drama, and it was excellent. It was awesome. So go check out the Saving DeForest audio drama uh, on the Neo Anagers podcast if you want to hear more Katie. How's that for a plug? Right? Lots of fucking Ew. plugs. So all much. right. All right, y'all. So all let's right. sign off. Let's see you in, see you all in, oh, in a week. Hey, two, hmm? Let's do a raid. Let's do yeah, a raid. I was that. just about to. I want to return the favor to the Bubbernaut. So, because he's awesome. They're currently running their Shadowrun Anarchy game um, right now. They're probably wrapping it up. So let's catch the tail end, shall we? Uh, well, from all of us here on Shadowcasters Network, make sure you che keep checking out all of our stuff because we're working so hard to please you. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> we're so helpless. Uh, we're the helpless squad. Please. Oh, we are the helpless squad. <laughs> the, oh, please. Oh. Watch our shows. You Bye, ate, everyone. Bye. Bye. See you in two Bye. weeks. <laughs>